What's up guys, I'm David Gordon, aka DKG72. The other day my friend Susan loaned me her set of brush pens and urged me to try them out and give my opinion. Well, I'm not turning down an opportunity for easy content that's right in my wheelhouse, buddy. So today I'm working with Arteza Real Brush Pen Premium Set. Let's see if it's a thumbs up, thumbs down, or a wash. Also, check out my cool new intro. Alright, so before I tried out the Arteza Real Brush Pens, I had to decide what kind of paper to use it on. I decided to go with Stonehenge Aqua Hot Press Paper from the Sketchbox Challenge video last month, link up above. I figured if these are watercolor pens, then the smooth stretch surface would be perfect. Man, I was wrong. Right off the bat, the peach brush, which may have been used, came off as a bit dry and hit the paper super dark. I knew I was in trouble as soon as the pen hit the paper, but since I'm not a quitter, I pressed on. And that's when I realized that these may not be watercolor pens. And in fact, I think Arteza looks at these pens as a low cost competitor uh, for the Copic Sketch Markers and the Shinhan Touch Twin Markers. I can tell you right now, it's not. But I pressed on, because I ain't a quitter. The first layer of ink was super streaky. I mean super streaky. And the ensuing layers weren't much better. I kept thinking to myself that this may be a combination of some brushes being used or bad paper choice. But on the paper choice tip, I remembered how well the watercolor pencils did. And I decided that the fault was more with the pens than anything else. Now there were definitely some things that I did like like the brush tips were sharp for the most part and I could use them like I use my Tombow Fudeno Seke brush pen try saying Fudeno Seke 10 times I probably still said it wrong but I'm gonna keep going uh, the colors were surprisingly bright and opaque and the pen felt good in my hand so not the worst experience but <sighs> let's get to the verdict so here's my take on Arteza brush pen not the worst not the best it was somewhere in the middle. I like the feel and the brush tip. I definitely like the brightness of the colors, but too many of the pens were streaky and just not very good for covering large areas. Uh, something both Copic and Shinhan do really, really well. So would I buy them personally? Nah. But for a beginning artist, uh, they may be a good purchase to introduce them to new working tools. All right, so there you have it, guys. Arteza the real brush pen. It's a decidedly mediocre pen for a pretty decent price. Links in the description below if you wish to try them out. Also, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell so that YouTube likes to tell you when I upload a new video. It's normally every Monday. And uh, you've been here for a while, go ahead and hit that like button and uh, share this with your friends if you could. Also, guys, please subscribe to my Patreon. That helps support the channel. All right, guys, I'm DKG72. I'll see you next Monday. Peace.